Come on. Yeah. You ready, big girl? Yeah, I'm ready, Toe Jail. All right, let's do this. Come on. My name is Toe Jam. And I'm Big Earl. Mm -hmm. We come from outer space. Whoa. Oh, oh. We crashed down on this planet. It was an accident. This is a crazy place. Hey, hey. Tell him Toe Jail. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's take care of some business. I'm with you, Toe Jam. I got your back.
Welcome back, I'm back. Welcome to 2023. Next Sunday, AD. <laughs> um, tonight we're getting back to the uh, PlayStation Underground demo discs. I really hope you enjoyed December. I really... It's helpful. <laughs> Aside from me enjoying it, um, I really tend to have a problem with, uh, you know, taking care of DLC in games where I feel like I've already finished the story. And uh, so I really did get a kick out of, uh, out of doing that uh, for the past couple of years. So much so that, like, I, I was... I'm going to be taking a break from streaming regularly after I get done with all the demo discs so I can focus on making the actual website. And I still think I'm going to come back and do DL Ember in 2023 because I've got more to do, um, more that's coming up. Um, and in some cases, it even gets me to finish the games. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to doing that again. But this week, it's back to work. Work. With um, PlayStation Underground issue 2.1. Um, it's another one of those where the second disc is just Squaresoft. Um, it doesn't even pretend to do anything else. So um, it's going to be pretty heavy on that uh, for the playable demos. We'll have a playable Final Fantasy VII. Um, but uh, the thing that I've been looking forward to the most on this is um, there's like guest spots. There's like a little host segment and then uh, some actual uh, riffing shenanigans from uh, Mike and the bots from MST3K in this issue. And uh, so I've, I've really been looking forward to this ever since I started doing these demo discs. And it just so happens that this gets to start off the year. So let's get into it. Wow. So I was putting together one of the um, uh, episodes that I've already um, played. And I was editing it together for YouTube. And um, I got to the Roll Cage Stage 2 demo, which actually warns you that it's going to re soft reboot the system. So I actually left the Punch reboot the in. Stupid <laughs> penguins. Mock rats. Another goal. Hi, everyone. Mike Nelson here from the Sci Fi Channel's Mystery Science Theater 3000, along with Croti Robot. Can't talk, must play. And Tom Servo. Lock, kick, punch. The good folks Lock, at kick, PlayStation punch. Underground asked us to take a look at some of their work from the past year. Yeah, meaning they bought us off with a bunch of PlayStation And a mess of neat games. <laughs> oh, well. uh, and we're going to head to the theater in a minute, but uh, first I just want to get one more goal at NHL Faceoff 98. Meaning you fairly stink at it. <laughs> hey. Man, my arms don't work, and I'm doing better than you. Jump, kick, turn! Yeah, Mike, why don't you go back to playing Pong? Yeah, face <laughs> it, Bob, you'll never master the subtle power of Parappa the Rapper. Or the lightning-fast reflex of Crash Bandicoot. Oh, really, Crow? Is, is that why Crash keeps getting pummeled by penguins, huh? Well, well, it's slippery in there. Hey, come on, Bandicoot, God. you big thing. And, uh, Tom, I noticed your onion head guy has fallen down a lot and, well, uh, farted. Yeah, I want him to do that, okay? <laughs> well, don't get cocky. It's gonna get rocky. We're gonna head into the theater now. It's underground, underground, underground time! I love that he's wearing a PlayStation Underground hat, too. Michael Collins video game. <laughs> the story of the University of PlayStation. I majored in sitting on my can and not getting a damn thing done. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's Minnesota. Communication enabled. Enabled? You gotta be kidding. I've got nothing but snow here. <laughs> What's going on? I thought we had a lock. I don't know. We're through the firewall, have full control of the tower, the logo was up and looking good, then nothing. Oh. Hey, what's happening back there? We lost the whole transmission. Oh. Hold on, hold on. I'm running a system diagnostic. You know, if your Our animation is getting its butt kicked by clutch cargo, you're in trouble. <laughs> Modulation is within limits. 
Let me check the satellite. Gumby and Pokey, what do you got for me? Got it. Tracking is off. I'm gonna realign. We'll dial it in and let's get back online. Uh. We don't want underground members seeing this snow when they try to get the transmission. Dirk Digital. <laughs> uh, you've got the wrong bird, unless we're transmitting Spunko's commercials. Ooh. Hang on. Hang on? We're hanging on dead air. Let's go. Okay, I'm reestablishing the lock. Picture should be clearing up. Good, because if you show a Spunko commercial, I'm running for the exit. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Scream 14. <laughs> Ready and action? From Sony Space Wrong, Sir John Geel, bad. I thought that. From Sony's PlayStation comes the greatest hits. All your fav. See why we like fake people better? <laughs> <laughs> From Sony's. The lady's dead, right? I'm oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. From Sony's PlayStation comes the greatest hits. All your old favorites. I like the soft sounds of. Which one of these two is Al Lewis? You decide. The gentle crack of Sophia's whip. <laughs> Even hilarious antics of Sweet Tooth, that marvelous clown. And all for just two This is the worst Mentos ad I've ever seen. From Sony's PlayStation comes the greatest hits. Like the soft sounds of swarming missiles. Save money by hiring mummies. <laughs> <laughs> From Sony's PlayStation comes... Uh, this must be a scared young video. <laughs> From Sony's... Sorry, I'm a little tired. I really hit the mall walking this morning. That's right. The PlayStation's a mere 149. You can also get lead... Watch their love explode across the screen. <laughs> you can also get leading titles. Like Crash Bandicoot and Jet Moto. It's Moto. Jet Moto is your laxative. Moto. That's Moto. Right. The PlayStation is a mere $149. I and lied. I'm not Hume Cronin. Go <laughs> roll, that's right, the PlayStation's a mere 149. You can also get leading... You're not gonna let robots make fun of this later, are you? <laughs> but wait. Pull my finger. Look, she's dreaming of Ed McMahon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the PlayStation is a mere $149, and you can also get... D oh, now I'll never get my show with Sinbad. The PlayStation is a mere $149, and you can also get... Le These two were a hit at the James Buchanan inauguration. <laughs> That's right. The PlayStation is a mere hundred and forty-nine dollars. You can get other leading. Oh, no, oh, she I, isn't I, giving I, me anything. I'm sorry. That's right. The PlayStation is a mere hundred and forty-nine dollars. You can get leading. Yeah, someone spiked his sustacal with rum. I think. The PlayStation is a mere hundred and forty-nine dollars, and you can also get leading titles yes. like Crash. Fudge! I must remember to make you fudge. You can also get leading titles. <laughs> like Brash Manticoot. Uh. Like Snake Flicky Button Mush Peterbilt. It's, it's a party! party. Yeah. Oh, get wow. at him. <laughs> Later, goons from PlayStation took them for a long ride. <laughs> All right, we got you surrounded, Pie. Drop your filling and come out with your crust in the air. Whoa, that's got to be the top of the genie garage door opener line right there. Look at Bill Gates' basement. You're probably wondering why I brought you here, sir. Everyone knows we've got one of those, Jenkins. No, not that, sir. Over here. Davidson's playing free cell again, sir. Hey, stay off the floor. We just waxed it. Would you just pick up the jar, Jenkins? We found them playing it inside the ship. Good God! It's a Marilyn Manson Christmas album! Well, were you able to retrieve any information from it? That's what I need to show you, sir. And now, Gallagher, the movie. <laughs> wow, Crash Bandicoot's doing all right for himself. <laughs> His belly was texture mapped and ray traced like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> oh, a right jolly old elf's life ended today in a modest Sherman Oaks home. <laughs> Santa can't feel his legs! <laughs> 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 Hey there, Infamous. Welcome, oh, welcome. Oh, Santa sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> Why, Barton Fink left a present. <laughs> for me? <laughs> it's for Santana. They spelt it wrong. Someone got me a black hole. Ah! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z, sold separately. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you just caught the tail end of it. It, uh, it started out, like, at the beginning with Mike and the bots welcoming you to uh, PlayStation Underground, and then they riffed on a couple of uh, videos 
from uh, previous issues. Kaz Harai. I've uh, been with Sony since 1984. I actually started out uh, at Sony Music in Japan doing legal and business affairs work, negotiating agreements, drafting contracts. Then I moved on to actually when I went to New York to promote Japanese artists in the American music business. Then I moved on to uh, the PlayStation business. And I've been with PlayStation now for about two and a half years. Both businesses depend on good software. If you don't have good music, good artists, you're not going to be successful in the music industry. That's also true in the video game business. Unless you have uh, a good developing team, uh, good artists that uh, bring out compelling, exciting software, you're not going to be in this business for very long. As usual, if you look at the PlayStation today, there's a teary-shaped lump on the couch, and the uh, Siren is on her tree. Video game platform in the United Siren States. was in my lap a bit at the beginning, uh, no before I went it, live. We're talking about the installed base, the number of uh, hardware units that we have, the number of titles that we have, or if you're talking about the, the pricing on the hardware and the software, you know, we're always in the leadership position, no matter which angle you look at it. So I was actually uh, playing around with an AI upscaler to see if I could improve um, the video quality of stuff like this. Because um, this is 320 by 240 resolution. And uh, the one that I was working with was 15 frames per second. Um, unfortunately, it was a bit of a hot mess. Um, one of the things I was trying to I'd shoot like to a little too high. I went to 720p, 60 frames per second right away, and it was nice and smooth, and but it really fucked with Dave Jaffe's face. <laughs> so I'm going to try again at some point. Um, I up upgraded my um, drivers to see if I can use the NVIDIA AI stuff, see if that works any better. And that is, in fact, our attempt to uh, nurture the future talent. Uh, Yay, Net, Ro Net Yorose. What I've learned from Net Yorose oh, is no. that you got some scrimps. games on Net Yorose may not look visually appealing, but there's something in those games that uh, compels uh, players like myself to spend hours uh, on that particular game because there's something about the game that pulls well, you into yeah. the game. Well, yeah, I mean, and again, that's, that's the depth of the most game. successful Net Euro is a game. And I'd rather spend time with a game that maybe is not so I, beautiful, and but has like that, I uh, I you know, don't immersion. know of any other uh, Net Yorosa game that got a full release, other than Devil Dice, and that game was a blast. The, uh, You'll easily lose an hour to it, not even realize it's happened. Is number one, never to be complacent. <laughs> always be at least two steps ahead of your competition because being one step ahead that doesn't count even if you're in a leadership position you need always to they forgot that in the uh, playstation 3 era but i don't think complacent, everybody else is gonna i don't think back. they've so ever quickly, been complacent you know since that, then uh, you know, what, what they really came back strong for the ps4 and the anti-consumer sort of stuff that they're doing now that's not them being complacent that's them trying to you know just chat with be a little too cutthroat i think the interactive displays and you know just ask them so how do you like this game uh you know what do you think in fact kind of the exact opposite and just chat with them because uh you know they really know what they like what they don't like they're also very honest about their opinion and i value that very much you know, I always try to spend time. Oh, look, it's Jet Motto. From gamers, I spend time trying to also look at uh, complaints that we get, because sometimes that's more important to me in improving our business than some of the compliments that we. You get. fucking hear that, Jim Ryan? I, I love Listen to the complaints. <laughs> and I'll tell you why I like it so much, or why I love it so much. It gives us the ability to communicate with the video gamer. 
in, in a very unique way so that uh, you, know, you, can, you can keep up with what's happening in the PlayStation world. But most important is uh, we are able to get your feedback uh, in terms of how you look at the PlayStation uh, as your video game platform. I wonder if that email would still work. I mean, I I'm, I'm, I don't think Kaz is with SCEA anymore, though. But he definitely helped make PlayStation what it is today. Okay, behind the scenes. Looks like Gran Turismo. Yep. The automotive world is wondering what's under the hood of the hottest racing game ever. That's what one magazine called Grand good, good. Turismo from so Yeah, that's a good chunk of gameplay. Game we went across the Pacific to give I, uh, another thing I love about Wild Arms Fighting is the, the um, Most uh, members barely get out of the office. The use of Many tools of in the dungeons. Exclusively it feels very Zelda. Years. You know. And it's kind of neat Compared that others, each one has their own set often. of tools. Although in most cases I just go there to take a shower. I went home two days ago. I usually go home twice a week. I've been playing this game for six years, but there was no technology right for it until Sony released the PlayStation. At Good that lord. Point, I felt very lucky. Gran Turismo is older than the PlayStation? Tune 1 and 2. Those games were experiments for certain features in Gran Turismo. I wanted to make the ultimate racing game for motorsports and automobile culture. It has over 120 real cars with dozens yeah. of customization options in eight different categories. 11 racing tracks are included. It's definitely, uh... I did the main programming. We take like, car between Wild the Arms and example, Brave Fencer Musashi, those would be the ones that I would points. suggest people to play over, to uh, like, like if they've got, we measured and simulated to the you know, of millimeters. play as know, PlayStation no versions of, like, far. um, you know... Legend of Zelda type of My thing job adding reflections to the and Ocarina of Time type time of thing using environmental mapping technology there are tons of racing games out there except Brave Fencer Musashi the actually has voice the acting the first one where you get the feeling that the actual car is there in the game My partner and I are responsible for capturing the car sounds We needed the real sound of different cars and recorded over 40 I was the one who got into the passenger seat with a dat recorder. You know, I wonder if this uh, ring light will help with um, the speedway. Uh, the big the challenge is where to put the microphones. I toy. One went inside when I have to do the other went in the trunk as close to the exhaust pipe. I toy possible. stuff again. I put the best car I ever owned in the game. I bought it just after college. <laughs> a Nissan R32. Yeah, <laughs> that was exactly it. Yeah. In real life, my car passed away after a huge crash. I feel like crying when I see it in the game. I was taking a turn at 130 miles per hour and tail slid three to 400 yards, bouncing rail to rail. When I finally stopped, the entire piece of the car in front of me was gone. I don't have a car now, but the great thing about this game is you can try out lots of cars and decide which But I mean, as you saw, uh, Saga Frontier is actually That's pretty good as far as, like, pick it up, play it a bit, save whenever you need to. Um, because that's one thing about uh, Wild Arms is if I were ever to stream that game, uh, I would definitely need to uh, play the emulated version so I could save it anywhere instead of just at a safe parrot. Download station. What do we got on the download station this month? This quarter, actually. Ah, Ghost in the Shell game. 
provides access to eight of the 17 cinematic sequences. Of the eight, five are mission sequences and three are training sequences. Okay. Versus. Contains the four bo gang bosses. Niege, Hendrickson, Eric O, and Joel. It, yeah, you have to, like, go into a menu. If you want to rap solo, the, this uh, download gives you all six levels saved and finished with a cool rating. In the load menu, menu, you'll have access to a secret bonus track titled Casey and the Sunny Funny Band. An extra treat which shows the girls dancing. Interesting. I did not know about that. Partially because I'm not that good at Parappa the Rapper. Um, another interesting thing is uh, the Gimel coins that you uh, get along the way. Um, you can use those to save at any time or to restart a fight that you lose. So you might feel like they're racking up, but keep them on hand. A lot of you have been telling us you want to know how games are built. In the next four issues, we'll show you in a way that no other gaming magazine could. Get ready for a PlayStation Underground exclusive. It's a new feature called software development. We'll walk you step by step through the inside secrets of making a PlayStation game. You won't be just watching. This new feature is a short, hands-on tutorial. As we build components, you manipulate them using your controller. And we what? invite you to give us suggestions and feedback that could help shape the game. In part one, Interesting. learn about game design and working with a 3D model. The issue after that, we'll show you how an animated world is constructed. Part three lets you put a character in motion, working with collision detection and game physics. And in part four, you'll add artificial intelligence, special effects, and sound. By the end, we'll have developed a game you can play, and if we liked your suggestions, your name just might make it into the credits. This could open the doors to the world of game development. Just be here over the next four issues. I'm looking forward to this. Training, and only PlayStation Underground CD magazine. But I'm also looking forward to seeing if any of those names are ones that I recognize. <laughs> Jet Moto is fun. I was actually pretty good at it when I was playing it more often. Yay, Armored Core. Every year, hundreds of new PlayStation games get released in Japan and Europe. Many of these games are chosen for licensing and distribution in North America. You're about to meet some of the people at PlayStation who search the world for the best games to import. You'll learn how that search is conducted and how an overseas game is made ready for North America in a process called localization. The search for new games starts here with PlayStation's manager of software licensing in the U.S. We basically comb our markets worldwide to find the best products that are available. We re really don't restrict ourselves to um, U.S. Um, or Japan or Europe, we go all over the world. I have counterparts uh, in London as well as in Japan, uh, and each of those people have a group under them. Uh, here in the U.S., uh, four people report to me. We are responsible, our group is responsible for uh, bringing in uh, third-party developed software to be marketed under the first party lineup. Basically, we are here to expand our PlayStation market. And <laughs> oh, man. Very good games to be I'm made. glad I stopped in when I did then. Uh, we have a very strong... Um, Gaming Generations was having a sale on... Uh, a good game that deserves it. Last uh, year, in... 25% off game consoles. We reviewed about... On, new, uh, on a sale that ended New Year's on Eve. On average, we sign on anywhere around 10 to 15 games per year. But uh, I, I was actually intending to uh, try to find a couple of items 
on New Year's Eve, but uh, the three that I usually go to, uh, Start Over, Press Start, and Game Trade, they're all closed on New Year's Eve. It becomes problematic. Uh, there are exceptions to that um, if it's a totally new genre type of game, such as Parappa the Rapper. Uh, we may try different angles, um, actually focus test it, or bring in people who are not your traditional gamers to see if we can open up a new market. Yay, Intelligent Q. But in any event, we first look at the end user wants or desires. And then if it passes that, uh, we then discuss this with our sales and marketing group, uh, who would be backing us up on the product. And if we get people on board in that end, uh, we eventually uh, get overall management approval. When a product goes through that meeting, before it gets picked up, it needs to really take advantage of the, the first party marketing and distribution and show what the PlayStation has to offer. At that meeting, if the product does not get picked up by Sony, the product can still come out in the U.S. Uh, through a separate publisher, uh, what we call third-party publishers. If a game is chosen for first-party marketing support, another team, Software Development, gets it ready for you to play. In localization, the first course of action is for the producer to get very familiar with the game and, and recommend changes that uh, he or she would like to see uh, in the game for the U.S. market. A good example of this might be in Bloody Roar. Some of the changes that we made was to include sidestep as a default move. Gotcha. Yeah, I get another four-day week okay. this week. American gamers will appreciate that. A regular five-day week next week. Japan. Then I'm off for a full week. <laughs> too easy, and we will want to tune that difficulty by changing enemy AI, artificial intelligence enemy difficulty. Corner the enemy is expected. We'll leave the rest up to you. An example of where we did a, a graphic change uh, was in Cool Borders 2. We changed uh, the loading screens from a Japanese anime storytelling type of style to something that we felt was more cool and hip for the American audience. And in addition, we do. I mean, that's not bad, but I don't think it would have. I well. think it would have been speaking, perfectly fine if they had left it alone. It can take uh, roughly three months. Go! Get pumped up! Drop in and get back! Yeah, hey, hey. The search for good new games from overseas never stops. You can help the search by giving these teams your input. Well, yes, but SSX is still a couple years out at this point. Subscribers are very aware and knowledgeable about what's out there, and I would really love to get their help in trying to find products that have a, a wider range appeal to the American market. We would love to hear from the underground subscribers, and as such, we have an email address that you can contact. Do you know about a hot man? They are game really going like hard on the uh, crowdsourcing in this know. issue. Email or write us at these addresses. Uh, the fifteenth. Okay, then we've got the code archive that we're just going to kind of. Uh, flip through again uh, if you're watching this later on feel free to just pause but uh, when I get the website together I will be going over all of these codes Well, there will be a way to have these codes on the site. Let me put it that way, because I think I remember hearing recently on another on a Discord channel that there's someone um, trying to uh, archive all of the codes that are available on stuff like this, and I might just link to their site. Correct. 
Okay, into the bulletins. Oh, and I'll, uh, I'll, the duplication trick for wild arms that they showed there, pretty easy to do. You can easily look that up, uh, Infamous, if you want to do it. Check out the redesign of our homepage. Thanks to all your input, we put the hottest information about the latest and greatest games, cool PlayStation-sponsored events, and sweepstakes up front and right at your fingertips. Also, by being a member of the PlayStation Underground, you can sign up for our new email information service and create chat rooms and sessions with your friends or meet new ones. And as always, we are here to listen to what you have to say about the PlayStation Underground CD magazine and how we can continue to make www.playstation.com serve you better. It's one of those things that's uh, kind of awesome for your second playthrough <laughs> because you can just go ham on like um, level and stat apples. <laughs> Now you can really kick butt knowing that yours is well covered. This new stuff comes with the quality and style you'd expect from the world's leading video game console. Choose from two great lines of merchandise, PlayStation branded and PlayStation Underground. Red Pullover Windbreaker. That looks comfy. Oh man, I would love to have one of those. I liked my varsity jacket from high school. It'd be weird if I'd wear it now though. I still use my CD travel case. And it's got the PlayStation Underground logo on it. <laughs> Parappa ski cap. <laughs> okay, I like the look of that. Blasto. really got a lot of stuff now oh god a chain wallet how 90s can you get okay now we're repeating um i want to see what the order button does okay <laughs> Because, I mean, the PlayStation 1 wasn't internet-enabled. I'm a 7th grade teacher for the past two years. I have been holding after-school PlayStation tournaments. These sessions have been a great way for me to get to know my kids and for the kids to get to know each other. By looking at screenshots of games on a regular magazine, it really doesn't sh persuade the reader how good the game really is. But after playing the demo of that game, it changed my interpretation of the game. Agreed. When I put in the first CD, I couldn't believe my eyes and ears. As soon as it was loaded up, it was non-stop action. Just got my third installment of your great discs and I wanted to say that they amazingly get, just get better and better. If the PlayStation was a woman, I'd marry it. 
and I'd endanger our friendship and have an affair with her. PlayStation Underground is the best magazine I've ever seen, and it makes me feel like a reborn teen. I just want to say that I loved the last issue with the playable Parappa the Rapper. Even though it was just a small sample, I played it over and over. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not with Parappa, but I've replayed a lot of these demos. The hidden features, even though all the secrets are printed in the next issue, it seems like a waste. People want to play, play games, not look for hidden stuff. I don't know anyone who's sick enough to actually sit around and mash buttons trying to find something. Fortunately, that I, I have them all so I can look ahead. I must agree with the other members that the subscription should be more often throughout the year. Sometimes it's agonizing to wait when you know the due date is near. My discs can't come fast enough. Well, that's what the official PlayStation magazine is for. Music videos? No. I saw someone write that you should take out the video music videos. I think you should as well. It doesn't really go along with gaming unless maybe you have a band play the PlayStation version of the game's music. Well, unfortunately, there's another music video on this uh, um, issue, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Well, without the music videos, it just wouldn't be complete. Add more, I say. Lots more and make them techno, too. Find these bands and make them a part of what PlayStation should be. The future. I think it's so cool that a video game company has finally made its own magazine. <clears throat> Nintendo Power. You've de defiantly gone beyond the bounds that I had hoped for in this mag. Okay, Nintendo Power wasn't like this. But it was still, you know, a magazine basically made by the video game company. Send your comments and tell us what you'd like to see in future issues. If you like, grab a video camera and record what you have to say. We invite you to make any sort of offbeat video about PlayStation. We might include it in portions of it in, in a future issue. Speaking of which, um, a couple of, uh, a, a while back, there was a uh, biggest PlayStation uh, fan contest. And the winner was Jason Dvorak, who runs a, uh, a website called Game Rave. And I'm on his Discord. I brought this to his attention, and he actually used some of my footage in a video that he later put on YouTube, uh, basically talking about the story behind that. And he still had the full unedited video. Um, so that was that was actually pretty cool. He actually still has all the stuff that he won from that contest, too. And uh, not too long ago, I actually set it all up and took a picture. Get the next transmission. In the next few issues, try out demos like Gran Turismo. Tomba, yay! Tekken 3, eh. Build a game with us. First of four hands-on interactive game development demos. Experts reveal the secrets inside of your console. Get backstage at PlayStation's NFL Game Day 98 Big Super Bowl Party. Connect to your friends. <laughs> oh man, look at that baby faced Mike. That, that tells us where this, uh... Oh, man. I don't think I've ever seen anything where they, like, looked at the set. Oh, 
odor of puppeteer staff. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's Jerry. Or is it Sylvia? That's cool. God, can we get out of here? Lunch cart's right over here. Yeah. Ooh, no, no, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Next part. Imports. So this is unfortunately just a video of Breath of Fire. And oddly enough, they just say Breath of Fire. It's Breath of Fire 4. Or no, it's Breath of Fire 3. Good. Talk about a series that just went leaps and bounds with its next couple of uh, entries, though. Uh, Breath of Fire 3 just didn't feel like that much of a jump beyond, you know, other than the 3D environments, a jump beyond what came before. Breath of Fire 4 did. Like, it was impressive. And then Breath of Fire 5 was on the PS2, and also impressive. And the Breath of Fire 4 and 5 soundtracks were just beautiful. Sorry, I don't read moon language. Uh oh. Hi, Beep Cat. Okay, and then we actually do get to play Puyo Puyo Sun. I think I have. Oh, now you're a snort cat. 
but I don't recall. <laughs> Thanks for vomiting compile at me. Okay. So I'm guessing this is single player, two player, something else, four player, and something else again. Now well, let's just do this. Oh, that's right. Circle is confirm. Oh, they're so upset when you don't choose them. I don't know what that alert is, but um, I'll, I'll just go with the one that they started me with. I at least know how to play this because I've played Mean Bean Machine, but uh, that said, I've never really been that good at Mean Bean Machine. I think I focus a little too much on just, like, getting everything out of the way as soon as possible, rather than building combos. Hey there, Red. Welcome, welcome. Now, if you're looking for someone uh, that's that'll play a good game of Puyo Puyo, you're gonna have to look somewhere else. Whoops. Ah. Hey there, Grand Calabash. Yeah, I mean, I played Mean Bean Machine uh, back in the day. I never actually played Poyo Poyo. Is it going to go back in? I thought it was just going to go back to the menu, but I, I think it's uh, looking for a reset here. 
<laughs> really? I mean, Bee Machine was no easy task. Enough points to do what? Okay, well, fortunately that means I only have to get one of them because one of them is right here. Oh, here. Hi, Siren. <laughs> but, uh, Tiri is napping under the blanket. I'll be right back. Well, I guess we don't get them both at the same time. But you saw Siren, and here's Teary. Hi. <laughs> Oops, sorry, was I pinching your tail? Yep, that's what the button does. It is to summon cats. There you go. There's your sister. <laughs> she is like a surprisingly chill cat. She puts up with a lot. Not quite purring, but I wouldn't put a pastor to be purring even though it looks uncomfortable. Need to clip your claws. Get got stuck on the arm of the chair. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Or I'm gonna keep pestering with your tail. Don't give me that look. Your own damn fault. Oh no. Yeah, uh, didn't you post a picture of the puppy on uh, um, the Cartridge Club Discord? Yeah, yeah, very cute. I, I hope uh, your cats will uh, um, ada adapt <laughs> to the new situation. Okay, so let's see here. That was the import section, and I am just going to kind of um, do this for movie magic. Go down to Puyo Puyo Sun, and then exit out. So we get a natural transition back here. Okay, that's good. And we're back to the debriefing. Okay, so what that means is we're done with this demo disc. However, there are always hidden uh, codes to uh, poke at. There are two in the main menu here, so let's try circle, triangle, square, triangle, triangle, circle, circle, circle. Or a screensaver. Congrats on having all four issues of the CD magazine and cracking the package code. 
Now you can be the first to get a PC screensaver of original concept art and sketches from top PlayStation games. It's the kind of insider access exclusive to the PlayStation Underground. Just visit hidden... Okay, I'm, I'm going to see if this still works. All right. PlayStation.com slash hidden prize. Come on. Oh, I got a 404. Damn it. <laughs> I wonder if I can actually find that somewhere online. I'm definitely going to have to try it. And if I if I can't find it, I'm going to have to do some digging. Okay. So that was that code. The other one is circle triangle triangle circle square circle triangle circle. You bitch. This is... Okay, let me try it backwards. Circle, triangle, circle, square, circle, triangle, triangle, circle. No. Okay. Now, let me go back in there. Because it says you're very close on the package code. Is there a code on the package for this disc? I'll be right back. So normally they they put the codes from uh, the previous issue on the next demo disc. So I went ahead, I looked at the next demo disc and got all the codes. This is what I get when I'm trying one of the codes that's on this disc. But it says you're very close on the package code. So I've got the package here. Let's see if there's anything that indicates this code on the package. Beware, more cool stuff is coming your way. Saga Frontier, March 24th. Oh, I'm not seeing anything on the package. Let's check the disc. on that disc. Nothing on that disc. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... Those are just rivets. Wait. Oh, okay. I think I saw something on one of the pages. It was very faint. I didn't see it the first time. 
Okay. Okay, let's try... Circle, square, triangle, triangle. Oh, there's another set of... Uh, PlayStation buttons. Okay, circle, square, triangle, 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 circle, triangle, triangle. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, yeah, I should have been on the... Okay, let's try that again. So, circle, square, triangle, 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 circle, triangle, triangle. Nope. Doesn't work. Hmm. Let's try inverting the bits. No, that didn't work either. Well, that's frustrating. I'll have to look into it. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, all right, well, um, I will have to look into that one later. Those cheeky bastards. They put the wrong... They intentionally put the wrong code on the next disc. Alright, let's, uh, let's just go to imports next. Feel free to tell me what the what uh, code you think it is, and I'll give it a try. Um, but here we've got circle, square, triangle, triangle. Tomba coming soon. I have played quite a bit of this game on stream. I should finish it at some point. This is another one where I've played the demo to hell and back. And I've played the actual game quite a bit too, but I've never actually finished it. So I did see, I, I, I decided to uh, do a search. Let's try circle, triangle, square, triangle, triangle, circle, circle, circle. Nope. 
Oh no, and not only that, but this was hidden on the desk. Um, I did get a playable Tomba and Tomba 2 on uh, the PlayStation Magazine demo discs, though. The, the uh, Tomba 1 uh, demo, I don't think I finished it. Or I, maybe I did. But it, like, goes... It's the full game right up until after you've uh, rescued all the dwarves. It is a long demo. Okay, Code Archive. Triangle, triangle, circle, circle, triangle, triangle. Oh, one code. All right, there we go. The code Heavy Feet gives you a the access menu for all levels within a de difficulty range for the game one. Okay. And then there's a uh, another code here. Circle, 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 triangle. Get inside the game with MTV's Game Brain. Official PlayStation Strategy Guide on Home Video. Master the latest games. Oh no. I wonder if I can find any of these. The best strategies plus three free issues of GamePro Magazine. MTV's Game Brain. Increase your genius. That would be interesting to hunt down. Okay, the last code on disc one is in the bulletins. And it says it's a hologram program. Circle, square, triangle, X. You found the inside scoop on the new licensed peripheral hologram program. A hologram like this will appear on all licensed third-party non-Sony peripherals, such as steering wheels, joysticks, and light guns by the middle of the year. Third-party peripherals that do not carry this hologram may harm your PlayStation because they likely do not adhere to electrical standards, and they have not been tested by PlayStation engineers. Their design may also not work with other system components such as memory cards or link cables. Look for the hologram on popular peripherals like these. Good lord. Oh, that, that's quite a few items. <laughs> okay, so... That's everything on this disc, but, uh, um... Yeah, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and move along home. And exit game. Two, one, two, there we go. So the second disc in, uh, in this issue it's actually a Squaresoft on PlayStation Collector's CD. It's, uh, there we go. It's got a bunch of uh, Squaresoft games on it. Uh, Bushido Blade Einhander, Final Fantasy Tactics, Saga Frontier, and Final Fantasy VII. I don't know which of these is playable, other than the fact that Saga Frontier is unfortunately just a video. But uh, let's start with Einhander, which I actually own now. I played this demo a lot, too. I never thought I would own this game. And then, like, I can't remember if it was 2020 or 2021. A friend was getting rid of all of his place, uh, getting rid of all of his uh, gaming stuff. And just gave me a huge, like, plastic bin full of everything. And Einhander was one of the games. And I'm like, holy shit, 
<laughs> you do realize that this is worth like 200 bucks, right? I don't bring this to your attention because I'm planning to sell it. I bring this to your attention because I never thought I would actually own this game because it's $200. <laughs> But uh, I, I actually played this on one of my peripheral um, focus streams where I played it with a one-handed controller. Ein Hand. <laughs> Give me the gun. The gun. Thank you. Oh, that wasn't a prize. I thought that shiny thing was something I was supposed to grab. I didn't realize it was a bullet. I think I have that glove too. Is that the one where it was just like... Uh, how do I fire this? I don't, damn it. Is that the one where it was just like kind of a platform and you would tilt your hand up and down and the buttons were on the front of it? Yeah, yeah, I have one of those. Okay, it is the X button. I didn't want to use the X button because I, you use that to grab the gun. And I was worried that it would drop the gun. You know what? Yes, I want to get a little bit farther than that. Come on, Squaresoft, bring back Einhander. You brought back Chocobo Goddamn Racing. Why not this? Dang it, I want that spreader. There we go. <laughs> what was that? I can only have two weapons. Oh, I can turn it around to fire behind me. Cool. Okay. Oh. I finally figured out how to swap between weapons. Yeah, but you didn't say which game it was. Um So I and I didn't really have the time to, you know, look into it earlier. All those freaking uh, weapons, and I failed to get all of them. Motor mash. Wow, I don't remember that one on the PlayStation. Alright, let's see if I can at least get something here. Oh, son of a bitch. No, I'm not going to continue this time. Ah, uh, that would be why I'm not familiar with it. Okay.
game over. So do I have to reboot or does the, uh, ha, the soft reset. Squaresoft's lovely little uh, built-in soft reset worked. Okay. Is this a video or actually playable? Welcome to Square Soft. Just the video Game of War. Final Fantasy Tactics. A brutal conflict of epic proportions. Oh sure. Um, I'll I'll have to uh, look at your article to see what it's like. Be clever. Because you know, with the Polymega, I also like to sometimes grab out of region discs. You are Ramza, a young warrior whose courage could save the kingdom from itself. Battle after battle, you'll build and train an army from 20 fighting classes. There you go. If anybody else wanted to have a look. Knights, mages, summoners, and more. I was never able to get very Master far in this game, and unfortunately. Their talents, and they will reward you with victory. Equip your army with the best weapons and Kicked Vandal Heart's ass. Your army will be strong. That, battle, that was my jam around this time. In your attack. Just before battle. Oh, that's cool. What are their strengths? Their abilities? How are they deployed? Well, like I said, I'll have to take a look at the uh, article the and see if it's a battle. game I might be interested Divide in. And conquer the enemy. Control the flow and always fight from positions of strength. When you attack, use your arsenal to find and target their weak links. You've lost, Ramza. I have the high ground. In Final Fantasy Tactics, a kingdom is in the balance. And though history may not remember, you must stand to save all. May you conquer the enemy, or may you die trying. Final Fantasy Tactics from Squaresoft, only on PlayStation. Yeah, I mostly did the die trying part whenever I try to play Final Fantasy Tactics. Speaking of dying with honor, next up is Bushido Blade. Okay, this one we actually get to play. I got to play this uh, back in PlayStation times. Well, Bushido Blade 2 was one of the few games that supported the um, link cable. I think I'll go with you. And uh, so I actually played against a friend with our PlayStations linked together, and you are locked into a first-person view. Which was always... Uh, I was using the analog stick. That didn't exist yet. Yeah, this demo has always been a little underwhelming. <laughs> Stay down! Are we fighting with wooden swords? Okay, there we go. Ooh, Tunnel B1. That was one that I definitely played when I was a kid, when I was younger. I, I actually have that for the PlayStation. I really enjoyed it. It was fast and smooth. May not be the best game, 
but it was pretty uh, technically impressive. I also picked up Shatter Shadow Madness. Mostly because it was a game I'd never heard of. <laughs> like, seriously. I saw it on the shelf and I'm like, oh, hey, this is only like five bucks. And it's an RPG I've never heard of. I should give it a try. <laughs> okay. That's good enough. There's really not much more to that demo. Viper I haven't tried yet, but that was one of the ones that was preloaded on the Polymega, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'm going to skip over Final Fantasy VII for a moment. Um, and I'm going to go to Saga Frontier, just because that's the video. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is the uh, uh, Mako Frontier. Reactor playable demo. A vast world. Where you haven't achieved Saving the best for last, Infamous. Until you lived <laughs> the lives and completed the quests of seven different heroes. Now eight, thanks to the remaster. Could you kill your This is a much better uh, Saga Frontier video than the one that was on the LPM or desk. Seek revenge for love. Be an outcast in both worlds and survive. Yay, Acellus. Conquer evil. Yeah, that's pretty much a definition of Red's quest. Just Find conquer the eight evil. Rings of salvation. Execute the forgotten directive. Or quite possibly live your dreams. It's all possible on the Saga Frontier. From Squaresoft. Only on PlayStation. See, that was a good that that was a good advertisement for Saga Frontier. <laughs> the other one I thought was really not good. It's just a bunch of uh, video footage with um, music that wasn't even from the game and it wasn't good music. Very generic. Wait, what? This is just a video? You're seriously telling me that there's an entire disc for Squaresoft stuff. And the only playable demos are a bare bones Bushido Blade and Einhander? I mean, there is some hidden stuff on this too, but. Oh God, yeah. I, I love using the Polymega for this stuff. It's so nice to just have everything basically at my fingertips to swap quickly. And I will be using the Polymega next week when I start um, Shining Force. Yeah, and the only hidden stuff on this disc are, like, a couple of music videos and a code for WCW Nitro. What the hell? So I had no standing plans for what to do tonight if I got done, like, 
an hour and a half early. I was expecting this to take a lot longer, but I think I've got an idea. And it'll be related to this. Fair enough. I mean, one thing that I did is I went through like all of the digital stuff that I've purchased and uh, anything that was for like Sega CD or PlayStation or something like that, I burnt to disc and imported it into the uh, Polymega. I'm not going to play Fantavision, even though I have that on my PS5. Um, okay, so we've got a code. Circle, circle, triangle, circle, circle. Or is that on disc one? It is. Okay. So we're going to have to go back to disc one. So this didn't have much of anything on it. 280 megabytes. Yeah, they barely filled a third of the disc. I love Fantavision. Fantavision hates me. Like, seriously, there's going to be a Fantavision game uh, releasing for PSVR 2. I intend to get it. I did not see it coming at all. <laughs> In fact, hold on for a second. Okay, I don't know where my disc of the PS2 version went, but I even went and I got the um, the Japanese version of Fantavision because I was told that the music is completely different. Um, and the video scenes are completely different, but I prefer the ones in the American version. I liked the whole retro 50s family look. I thought that was really cute. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, man. I, I watch uh, MST3K every night when I'm winding down to go to bed. In fact, I just recently finished season 10 and I'm starting over from season one again. So it, it, it was a special treat to me. I absolutely love the show. All right. So let's try the, uh, the other codes here from the next disc. Circle, circle, triangle, circle, circle. None of them worked. Interesting. I'm going to have to dig in on this. This isn't the first time that I've found codes that weren't working properly on these. So. All right. Well, um, that's it for issue 2.1. Um, give me a second and... Uh, I'm going to fire up something else so that, uh, you know, to finish off the rest of the night here. I'll be back in a moment.
All right, I'm going to go with some Crisis Core. I haven't played this enough. And uh, so let's uh, we'll, we'll make a little bit more progress on this. I'm uh, uh, just a little bit of the way in. Um, Aklim, I would recommend Neo Geo CD, uh, but not one of the fighting games. You know, see what you can find that isn't a fighting game. Um, that or Sega CD don't get enough love as far as reviews or YouTube and, and stuff like that. So that would be my recommendation to kind of stand out a little bit. Damn it, infamous. <laughs> Fine. You know what? I'll, I'll play a level of Fandivision if I've got it downloaded. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, the uh, retro uh, catalog stuff. It's a beautiful game. It was a great tech demo for the PS2. Even right down to these intros, their DVD quality. It was really impressive to see at the time. Microcosm is pretty cool. Oh man, I I haven't even been able to do anything with uh, normal mode. There's a hard mode? Welcome to Fantavision. No. No. Thank you. Okay. Three chains. Had to. Oops. Three chains. Could have chained them together. So the problem that I keep running into is I keep running out of energy. Eleven chain. And good. I'm no good at figuring out how to preserve that. Four chain. Two days. Four chains. Star. Two days. Had to get the star. Nine chains. Two days. Ten chains. Bonus points. Bonus points. Nine chain. Come on. Three days. 
Welcome Let to the world of tomorrow! <laughs> Two days. Time change. Three chain. Bonus points. Two days. Time chain. Good. Star. Two days. Twelve chain. Star. Five chain. Three chain. Two days. Eleven chain. Star. Two days. Eleven chain. Energy up. Seven chain. Seven chain. The star. Star. Four chain. Two days. I wonder if this. Energy this almost off. feels like it's getting energy more off. energy than usual. Sixteen chain. Five chain. Two daisy. Twelve chain. Give me the star mine. 14. Good. Oh. Eight chain. There we go. Star mine. Actually hurting my hand. <laughs> Very good. Oh, okay. Stage, Stage clear. one clear. Congratulations. Thank you. So yeah, definitely a pretty game. But like your energy level carries over from level to level. So I've never been able to finish this game. I'm satisfied. Wow, there's no pause button. Fantastic. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, this is going to be coming to... Interesting. Twitch considers Fantavision an RTS. You know what? That makes sense. And that also makes sense why I suck at it. Because I suck at RTSs. <laughs> um but yeah i am definitely interested in picking that up on um uh on the psvr2 fantavision 22 xdx okay for some reason this is just really quiet on my end too
Yeah. Um, once we get into the actual game, I will definitely test it. What's weird is my years of watching um, uh, Digital Foundry have paid off. I'm seeing um, AI upscaling artifacts in some of the graphics. It's really hard to point out. But they're there. Also, I love the music for this game. Oh, that's right. I failed a fight, so I had to come back here, which is fine because I missed something. This is the only physical PS5 game I currently own. Yeah, Final Fantasy 16 will be another uh, physical you release sound? on my shelf. This sound. Keep your ears open. The sound will indicate the right time to attack. Watch for the shell's color change too. I'm counting on you. View sound and color, huh? I have to get to Angel's mom quickly. It also threw me off because the uh, <clears throat> the voices are different from the original. There we go. Have to do it slightly before. <laughs> Not in the least. I hope she's all right. Got to find her now. Okay. So there's a trophy. Okay, I've got a few seconds here while this is showing me this. There's a trophy involved here that's missable. There are lots of missable trophies in this game. Make lots of different save points. Um, it oh there is one for cutting down every incoming shell damn it okay there's another one for this part too collect all items and in arrive at Angel's house before the Benora, Benora airstrike yeah um I missed one of the treasures the last time I tried this, but I also want to try to get all of the shells, so let's take the time to do some trophy hunting tonight. Yep. Genesis 
Lucas has begun shelling the town. Yep, oh, I know. Man. What do we do now? <laughs> Damn it. I pushed the wrong button. Well, I do need to practice. Okay. I, it, at least it's only like 10 shells, so it's it's really easy to actually get it perfect. The shelling has stopped. <laughs> that would be interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with FF16 also. Like, they're actually not shying away from a, a mature rating. Which is the first time in the series that they're doing that. Um, and then it's also only going to be on the PS5, so they can, you know, focus on that and not have to make it also work on the PS4. Got it. The shelling has stopped. I've just received word. Slice and soldier. Is commencing. <laughs> Hurry. Um, She's all right. Gotta find her. Adam Antoys was one of the ones that I did for my, uh, um, for the platinum on FF15 when I was doing all the platinum trophies in October. I cheesed it with the Ring of Lucii. I'm not proud. <laughs> okay. So I did miss one in Chapter 1, but that's okay. I've got a save there. I can go back to it. The, uh, that and the Benora treasures are the only two missable trophies in Chapter 2, so I just need to keep an eye out for that. Oh, I grabbed it. Okay. I think that's everything. Let me double check. After some deliberation, I've managed to buy a little there are more five time. glowing items. Go do whatever needs to be done. Thank you, Tsung. Those shells are Shinra products, too. So you'll be rewarded for destroying evidence of the company's involvement. <laughs> Perfect bonus. I only got four of the items. So, 
One of the things that you have to do is identify the five items as you're coming through the first time and then collect them during this part. So let's go ahead and save. Um, I think the factory is too late, so I'm, I'm going to have to go farther back than what I probably want to do tonight to get that trophy. But by saving a new slot, it still makes it easier for me to come back to later. <laughs> it still took me forever uh, with the uh, Ring of the Lucii. Um, it has a chance to insta-kill, but the, that chance was extremely low. At least with the Adamantoys. But its chance to insta-kill can uh, trigger on the Adamantoys. And it did for me, just not until I had it down to like 15% health. about what's going on here i told you <gasps> you can't live on that side anymore um yeah it was like just like huge massive and Jill, uh, it uh and Jill! like there My there was friend, a pretty large boss to a world in that final fantasy 13 all that awaits you. I think it was also I called the Animantoys, you, roaming around in no matter where the, uh, the winds may blow. Um, I don't see Sephiroth today, but on the plateau. But it's still not, you know, the size of a goddamn mountain. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to finish this. Because, like, he damages me just by flying up in the air and slamming down. And this isn't a battle that I'm supposed to lose. So, like, yeah, I get that. Jeez. Um, I've got my best equipment on. Activating combat mode. Oh, that's not even hitting him. This is Cloud, in a way.
damn it. Yeah, call in an airstrike. Is this actually going to hit him, though? No, not if I can help it. Okay, good, it did. <laughs> oh sure, now I get null physical. Good work, both of you. Sweet. Where is Zangio? You're <laughs> like the He's person who missing. flies to Vigo. I'll explain later. Things will escalate. Be prepared. You're in for it now! Concentrate. I'm feeling it! Yeah. Kick his Mahabat. I got the uh, Phoenix down. That wasn't so bad. Like, it didn't even hurt as much as that attack does. Yes. Oh, I didn't even get to pull off the Octa Slash. <laughs> well, I did it. Yay. Ooh, do I get the summon? Give me that materia. Summons aren't meant to be used like this. What happened to dreams and honor? We are monsters. <gasps> we have neither dreams nor honor. When do I get a cool wing like that? How are you able to fly with only one wing? It's not how aerodynamics work. Also, if he's molting Soldier. that much, he really should check his uh, his diet. Doesn't mean monster. Benora. Thanks, son. No more dumb apples. God, that smells good. 
Jill. Yes, I will save the game. Um, yeah, let's move on to a new save spot. Angeal, the war is over. Everyone's real happy. As for me... That sword represents our family's honor. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. <laughs> Where did you go? Better way. Zack here. It's been a while, Zack. Sephiroth. Come to Lazard's room. Uh, all right. New mail from console. Yeah, Hojo is definitely not an angel. Training room is currently being used for top secret research. Hence, entry is strictly prohibited. It is off limits, even for you, Mr. Soldier. But I, being the coward that I am, cannot muster the courage to enforce this <laughs> prohibition. Thus, whether to enter or not will be up to you and your conscience. Nice line, Reed Trooper. Angeal in Genesis' hometown is a village called Benora, right? I discovered something kind of interesting in a Shinra IR report. Benora's annual operating budget was being paid for by Shinra. Okay. That's the off office. Hey, Zach. So, the war is over. That it is. I'm sure you heard. I ruled. <laughs> no, I didn't hear. The company reports don't mention you at all. On TV, they only talk about Sephiroth's bravery. But Sephiroth was in B unit. Well, our heroes are chosen by the media. Dreams crushed. <laughs> oh, poor Zack. Uh, I wasn't sure if that was an email complaining at me for not, uh, Getting to the briefing room. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's right. So I don't get the material right away. I have to, like, that unlocks the ability for me to earn it through a mission. is filled with the knowledge of the ancients. The ancients were, of course, our predecessors. And it's said they could converse with the planet. The ancients had knowledge. The knowledge to control the planet's power. This knowledge is what ties us to the planet and creates magic. By the way, it's presumed that the ancients are long extinct. Yeah, well, you've got a couple of ancient-ish folks wandering around. 
Oh, things. that's right. I have to do the missions through here. Okay. Let's see here. Let's try this. One star. I might be able to do it. Oh, you dick. No AP cost? Let's go ham with the assault twister. I didn't die during the Bahamut fight, so I still have the uh, re-raise active. Nice. I, I kind of like that that's how um, Phoenix Down works in this game. It's not used on someone else to bring them back. It's a re-raise. So you use it on yourself and you get brought back automatically if you die. Okay, yeah, um... I was getting my ass handed to me by, uh, rank 2 and some even rank 1, uh, missions. Uh, you know what, let's give it a try. Activating combat mode. Whoops. Dang it. Ah, uh, he did it while I had no magic. Ooh. He's uh, pretty weak to that lightning attack. That's good. I'd prefer to have Blizzard on him, but I'll take it. I should probably save my magic for cure spells, though. cost. Free cure, free thunder. I'll take invincible. Yay! That's my first summon materia. No, he is def- that was definitely a tricky fight.
Uh, let's definitely save and then uh, move on with the story here. Doo -doo -doo. It's the training room. It's not what we want. Director's office. Congratulations. As of this moment, you are promoted to soldier first class. Hey, no problem. Rest well, infamous. Huh. Thanks for dropping in. I thought I'd be happier. Understandable. Too much happened too fast. I... Zach, I'm afraid I actually kind of like Lazard. Again. Are you pushing another assignment on me? My apologies. Whatever. I'll fill you in, Zach. But before that, go to the briefing room and change into a first class uniform. Ooh, my pants got baggier. You can now equip six materia. Ooh. Okay, that's interesting. It's been a while since I played the original. Like, I, I think I played set? it shortly after it came out. In the flash. As soldier first class, you are now authorized to use Materia Fusion. Yes. Whoa. Oh, Materia Fusion so is so I fun. Do? First, open the main menu. You should now be you able to You can make some really materia screwed fusion. up Materia. Now, try fusing these two Materia. That should give you a general idea of how the process works. One fire and one blizzard. If you blizzard. have any questions, just let me know. Okay. So let's take a uh, spare fire and a spare blizzard. And that becomes thunder. Really? That's it? Uh, hold on. I'm gonna try something else. Got a spare assault twister. Lazara blade. Nice. Then that means that I'll be able to. Whoa, spell point cost 407? <laughs> I don't think I have that many spell points. Oh no, I think it's um, the cost to fuse the materia, which I have 10,000. Okay. Um, oh, I already have Blizzard Blade. Um, so what would happen if I did Blizzard Blade? Okay. So that would bump it up to Blizzara Blade. Thunder Blade. Dark Blizzard. Enables ice-based attack spells that's... Stun, poison, and silence the enemy. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can do that with... Blizzard? Nope. Has to be Blizzard Blade. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I wonder if they'll add Materia Fusion to um, the next... Final Fantasy VII Remake game.
Oops. Okay. So I can use materia, convert them to to SP, to be able to uh, do more materia fusion. Got it. Okay. Give me my free stuff. Star pendant. Save. And I got another mail. Killed in action, huh? No, they weren't. Hey now, are you sure you know enough about material? Yes, fusion? I do. They go a little too hard on the tutorial stuff on this game. Materia fusion is still a new technology. Some combinations and results have not been tried or discovered yet. That's why we want you to experiment. And if you make a new discovery, let us know. Finished changing? Yeah, and I picked up Materia fusion too. Then return to my office. I'll brief you on the mission. Yes, sir. To the director's office. The company has decided to eliminate Genesis and his cohorts. This includes Angeal as well. And you want me to do it? No. The Shinra army will handle it. What about me? They don't trust you. They believe your emotions will hamper your judgment. Well, of course. <laughs> That's why you're not wrong. To kill them. An intruder. Where? Close. Sephiroth, the president. Zach, entrance. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Um, give me a sec. Round, okay, I'm still in Lazard's office, got it. But there's a missable trophy, so let's go ahead and save in a new slot. What the? It stopped? Um, get off and look around. Soldiers here. Thank goodness. Hurry up and deal with that. That? <laughs> oh, what is this? Activating combat mode. Red saucer. Well, at least they're not gold. was that? What? You don't know? That was an intruder neutralization mech. So why was it attacking employees? It just went berserk. For reasons unknown. The 
There are others stationed, so deal with them. But I was ordered to go to the entrance. <laughs> So this is necessary for getting the trophy that I was taking care of. Scream? Is someone in there? <laughs> like rescuing everybody. I'm coming. That's what she said. Stay back. <laughs> See? Activating combat mode. Come at me, bros. Uh oh. Warm ups over. Oh. That is one ugly mug. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not with Soldier, right? What are you doing here? Uh, uh, well, the science department reserved the training room for the day. And I was just doing some maintenance. Maintenance, huh? <laughs> All right, you got me. I was slacking. Hey, can you keep this between us, please? He wasn't saying slacking. At least not in the Japanese version. <clears throat> Thank you. Please take this for your trouble. Apparently, the only re thing that uh, your choice makes a difference in is whether you get that 5,000 gil or not. Hey, you all right? <sighs> Behind you. Huh? <laughs> okay, so it Activate says that there are three battles here. On. Nice. Oh yeah. Thank you. I was close. Did that mech injure you? Hey, Oops. even soldier members have their bad days. Well, this is actually one of my better days. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, really not that good at fighting. You're a soldier. Suck it up. If you're bad at something, train harder. I'm sorry. I'll be going now, for you. Thank you. I've seen better days. Zach, where are you? Oh, Director. I'm on the soldier floor. Head to the entrance ASAP. We've been massively compromised. Massively? All right, I'm on. Massively? Good luck. Head to the entrance. Why are Shinra weapons attacking the Shinra building? Is this Genesis is doing? Oh, I see. The extra materia I, I equip goes to R1 and R2. Nice. I forgot to equip that bitch and new materia I created. Activating 
Oh, mind and body. Your digital mind weave. Acting together as one. Ha! Okay. So, what do you think? Pretty good, right? You're focusing just for the sake of it. Your true power hasn't been released. Yeah, it didn't feel quite the same as before. You need to learn to find the right zone in your mind. If you can't do that, you won't make first. Seriously? Prove your honor to me. I got it. <laughs> I love the over-the-top attacks. They're so much fun. You. Better run for it. Oh, my God. Wish I had made that Thunder Blade. That would have been really useful here. Song. I'm a little busy, so I'll be a little late. Um, behind you? Hmm? Song! Are you done being busy? <laughs> Brace yourself! Is this the end? No, not if I can help it! Finally, jeez. <laughs> Sephiroth, the intruders are Genesis copies. There's no doubt. This is Hollander's doing. Who is that? A Shinra scientist who <laughs> stole the, the copy Dutch. tech, then vanished. Are you saying that this Hollander and Genesis are working together? Quite possibly. Do you know what they're... Planning? Hollander sought to head the science department and lost. He's borne a grudge against Shinra ever since. He wants revenge. So petty. And Genesis is supporting the stupid cause? I don't want to believe it. Well, then don't. Agreed. <laughs> now, Zack. Copies have been sighted in Sector 8 as well. Let's go. This is bad. We should split up. Good call. Hold on. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. <sighs> Yay. This church jurisdiction. Slick. I love uh, when uh, me. Song, do something. 
There's no need for concern. Huh? When the bald guy, I can't remember his name. He gets uh, his his uh, glasses get broken in Advent Children, and uh, like the next cut, he's standing up and pulling another pair out from his jacket and puts them on. So now we're outsourcing to the Turks. Soldiers being stingy. There's a manpower shortage. Duh. You're a Turk too. I'm Sisney. Yay, Sisney. I'm Zach. Pleasure to meet you. Zach, aren't you on assignment? I'm just trying to mix a little Same objective. business with pleasure. Need some help here? I appreciate the offer. Oh, how generous. Well, son, Zach, I gotta go. Sisney has been added to the DMW. <laughs> um, okay, so it says Why did I return to the building? Sorry. So the uh, guide here says, um, oh, as soon as you can, head to Loveless Avenue. All right. Got it. And then once there, uh, instead of charging forward to the objective, look left and right. And there are more NPCs to save. Got it. Activating combat mode. See the ones Thanks, across man. the street. You saved me. Oh yeah. Those mask guys causing all that havoc. I think I saw their leader just now. He's up ahead on this street. I'd stay clear if I were you. That is a token of gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. Should get the trophy now. Thank you so much. Chest up ahead. A really cool older girl came and saved me. But I'll tell Cisne you called her older. That young lady gave us time to escape by charging out alone. Please, Mister, I'll give you my favorite treasure. So please help that girl. Yes, please. Yay. Trophy earned. <laughs> Love her star weapon. Genesis. No. The copies? Activating combat mode. Oh. Okay. I messed up. 
Whoa, this is not good. Ah! Uh. All's well that ends well, slick. <laughs> it's done. <clears throat> That's Turk's teamwork. Pretty good, right? You're in for it now. You can do it, Zach. Yeah, I'm on fire now. <laughs> Yay, Zap leveled up. Better run for it. I'll take it. I leveled up again. Oh, hell yes. When I was a kid, I always wanted to have wings. I think a no, lot of kids like do. An angel. If people had wings, they'd be monsters. I love this piece of music. Wings symbolize freedom for those who have none. They don't symbolize monsters. Soldier first class, you've got skill. Well, unlike the Turks, fighting's our main thing. Here, <laughs> a little gift for helping me out. Ooh. All right then, I'm off to the next job. You've got something too, right? Yeah, I do. Until we meet again. Once Sector 8 is clear, come to Mako Reactor 5. Did you find something out? Angeal has been sighted. <sighs> so it's search and destroy? The army is mobilizing, but there's still time. You and I will find them before they we do. And? And what? <laughs> Fail to eliminate them. For real? <laughs> yes. For real. Awesome! We're gonna fail! <laughs> Zach, you are such a goob. Uh, they're gonna give me a chance to save, right? Yep, okay, good. Because <laughs> it's almost 11 o'clock, so I'm just going to save and call it a night. But that was fun. I always I, I, I like being able to, you know, poke at something like this if stuff finishes early, you know, just kind of work on something that I've been working on offline and make a little bit of progress. But 
Hey there, Nimbex. <laughs> You're catching me right at the end of this. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's the first stream for 2023. I will be back tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be moving on to PlayStation Magazine demo number 87. Um, the big ticket item there is a playable demo of Killzone. So that should be interesting. Um, to wrap up the night, though, we are going to go raid a friend of mine that I don't get to see very often. Uh, Nathan Sifu. He's playing Knights of the Old Republic tonight. So thanks to everybody for dropping by. I always appreciate it. Rest well when you do, and in the meantime, enjoy Nathan Sifu.